everyone, as you know, Selena Gomez launched her own beauty brand, Rare Beauty. I've been excited from the moment it got announced. I'm not like a stan of Selena Gomez. I'm kind of a, the age bracket like above her. I didn't grow up with watching her on TV. But as she started to release more music later and you know, she became a young woman. That's when I fell in love with her style. Really respect her. I feel like she's always given out a very positive message and is a really good role model to her fans and followers. And I was super excited like when she said she was doing a brand I'm always really excited when women go and do something really cool like that and I think that the message of her brand is really good. She says here, mental illness impacts everyone. We are committed to helping people feel more connected to one another and less alone in the world. They've actually got a rare impact fund, which is where they hope to raise $100 million over the next 10 years to help increase access to mental health services. So, you know, I like that it's beauty with a message and also I feel like that is reflected in the products because she doesn't want to hide or mask who you are. It's just about enhancing and making yourself feel good about yourself and that's what i feel like this has done like i put on all this makeup and i don't feel masked i feel really good the textures on these products are quite unique um i feel like she's definitely done something different i wanted to go ahead and film this as soon as i got the pr package because when i opened it i could just see the products in there were just exactly the kind of thing that i would want to use so when you open it it's a really beautiful package um, made of all cardboard so it will be easy to recycle which I appreciate and you know you have your complexion products the foundations and the concealers and the first thing I noticed was how cool the bottle is it's like kind of a mod vibe you know and then there's also these beautiful blushes I kind of thought these were going to be lip glosses but they're actually blushes and I love cream products love cream highlighters so I was going crazy in my mind excited to open those and then we've got the lip products she's got like some balms and then she's got some more intense liquid lips and she's got brow products an eyeliner a really cool little kit for blotting and for powdering she's also got two complexion brushes the primer and the setting spray so i feel like she's come out with a really cool range of products she doesn't have any eyeshadow or mascara that kind of thing yet but i'm sure those things are coming because based on the fact that she's already launched with color and complexion that does seem to tell me that there will be like an entire range coming. Everything will be covered. So I'm really excited about that because also the price point is quite mastige. Like it's really accessible. And now that I've tried the products and felt the quality, I do feel like the price point is really, really good for most of the items. So we're gonna get into it now. While I have you, please like, comment, and subscribe to my channel so that you can be notified of new videos because I will be doing more with these for sure. It's definitely right up my alley and you will be seeing more of this. But without further ado, I guess, let's Let's just get into the video and I'll do this look for you and tell you what I think. What I was thinking of doing was recreating this look on the front which is gorgeous and I feel quite typical of Selena. She looks great in red lips and I love her approach to makeup so I'm going to try that. The first product is the primer. It's the Illuminating Primer. It kind of looks like the Fenty Primer but this is in a some kind of plastic container. It says it's made in Italy um, and it has a pump top. So let's just pump some out onto my hand. Let's get this out. Oh, Ooh, okay. That's got some kind of airless pump, by the way. So as you use it, this will start to go up. So you'll see how much is left, which is great. I love that. The texture of it is really nice. Smooth, super smooth. And you can see that it's really illuminating. Like, looks like you could even use this as a highlighter if you want. Ooh. It melts in really nicely. I'm gonna focus it on my cheeks rather than my forehead because my forehead's already illuminated naturally. <laughs> it's even the kind of thing that I might wear on its own. Do you know what I mean, Jellybean? So I just put a very small amount, kind of whatever was residual on there and it feels good. Um, it feels a little bit tacky, which is what I want to feel for a primer because that's how, you know, primers help to make the product stay. My hands look really pearlescent now, can you see that? And I think it's nice and subtle on the face. So that's like a gel type texture and so it melts in really nicely to the skin. I feel like it's already made my skin have a really nice natural glow. Now this product is $26. I feel like Selena has marketed this as a mastige brand. So it's not prestige obviously, but it's not mass. You know, it's not 
um, in the same realm as L'Oreal. It's not in the same realm as Hourglass. It's somewhere in the middle, but I think that's great because a lot of her fans are quite young and she's an amazing role model to women of all ages, I think. So I feel like the branding and the pricing has made it really accessible to a wide age range. And so I'm really pumped about that. Now, I hope that the foundations match me. I had to fill out this little... Q&A online so they could try to match me and now I'm a bit concerned that these are going to be too dark So this is the liquid touch weightless foundation. The bottle is super cool. It's in the same Actually, this feels like glass, but I don't think it is. It's a frosted hard could be plastic could be glass um, and then the top is just super cool. This is a foundation elixir that feels barely there while building coverage and boosting your natural glow. It's available in 48 shades. It says to shake before you, so I'm gonna do that. There's some kind of like shaky thing in there. This is called 23ON. They also gave me 24W and 25W. So it has a doe foot applicator, that's cool. I'm gonna put some on. Oh, it is like a serum consistency. It feels like if I were to tip it out, it would be very liquidy. That is the entrance, so if I pull it out, that's what it looks like. So I put it in the areas that I most want coverage, and she came out with a little sponge. Mine looks a bit funky because I went to wet it, and then I was like, oh, I probably should have shown it to you when it was dry, so you can see it get bigger, so... This is like part dry, part wet. It does not feel like a sponge that maybe you're used to. It is a lot more porous. Hopefully you can see that. Um, maybe you'll be able to see the texture a little bit here where it actually tore because in the, the PR package actually had like a little bit of glue stuff to have it stuck down and it ripped it off a little bit, which shouldn't really affect how it applies, but it just might show the texture a little bit. I'm going to show you how it goes in the water. Ooh. Ew, the water's cloudy now. <laughs> Why? <laughs> you are supposed to wash new sponges, so. Oops. It is a plush sponge with a diamond shaped tip for a precise application and customizable coverage and it's $14. It feels a little bit expensive for how this material feels to me, but let's wait to judge until I actually put it on. She also has this brush. It's the Liquid Touch Foundation Brush. This is $28, a cruelty free foundation brush packed with soft silky bristles that build, blend, and buff. So I will use the brush on one side and the sponge on the other. Let's start out with the sponge. I would anticipate that the sponge side will give like a lighter coverage. It says customizable coverage, but I mean, it's probably just how many layers you put on because obviously sponges absorb some product. <laughs> But I like the size of it. It's nice and big. The shape is really cool. It definitely is useful if I want to get in under my eyes like that. And it is very, like, squishy. Like, if I press it against my head, it flattens right out, which is different to some other sponges that I use, which are more, like, dense. And when it comes to this foundation... Damn. Right, Seva? Damn. You can say it. Damn. <laughs> I love the look of this foundation so far. Okay, so I actually like that sponge. I was kind of concerned that now that it's got makeup on it, maybe you can see a little bit better how porous it is. I was kind of concerned that you might see little streaks, but you don't seem to see streaks, so that's good. I like the coverage a lot, and I feel like I did not put that much on. Now I'm going to go in with the brush. It's a really cute brush. It's kind of got a diamond pinch to the ferrule. And it's got a really nice soft touch handle. It's pretty lightweight and it's kind of angled and dense. So I'm gonna start to use this. Feels super soft. Great. I actually feel like it might've been easier to blend with the sponge, but that looks great as well. I don't see too much difference in the coverage though, which is good. That means, you know, I'm impressed with this sponge. I do not have any sponges like this in my collection, um, texture-wise or shape-wise. Might be worth checking out if $14 is a good price range for you. I'm just like kind of checking on the Sephora app 
how much sponges are. So for example, the Beauty Blender sponge is $20. The Fenty Beauty one by Rihanna is $16. Yeah, so it's $6 more affordable than Beauty Blender. And I do think that that is probably reflected in what feels like the quality because I know that Beauty Blender wouldn't tear like that if it was stuck to something um, just based on the texture and stuff. But I mean, the way that that applied is amazing. And you know, if you're on a budget, you probably wouldn't want to go and buy the sponge out of this. You'd want to try one of her foundations or lipsticks. But if you want to get the sponge for the entire Rare Beauty experience, it worked great. And if you prefer brushes, that also worked well. For a foundation brush, I probably personally prefer something a little bit larger, but this is good because I'll be able to use it for things like contour and stuff, which is probably what I would more likely use it for. She has an eyebrow pencil. It is called the Brow Harmony Pencil and Gel. This is quite cool because one end is a triangular shaped pencil. The pencil portion is kind of similar to the Benefit Goof Proof. I'm gonna roll it all the way up so you can see how much it is. That's that's that, that's how much you get. But on the other end is also a brow gel, which I love. And I also really like the shape of the bristles on the spoolie because they're nice and short. I feel like whenever there is a fat eyebrow brush, it's not what you want because you can't get the eyebrow hairs because eyebrow hairs sit flat against your face. So mm. anyway, so I like that. This one is $22. Um, and the benefit one is $24, but on that one you don't get gel. You get 0.21 grams on the pencil, and in the benefit one you get 0.34 grams in the pencil, but on this one you also get 2.25 mils of uh, brow gel. And so the price for both is 22, so it's quite, I think, comparable and good in price compared to other products on the Sephora website just kind of confirms that where I think they're trying to position the price range is Mastige. Definitely Prestige and how it feels and so far how it performs. Um, and of course it's Selena Gomez. She's one of the hugest celebrities in the world. So, you know, this is a very aspirational brand, but the pricing seems really fair. And I'm sure Selena, like that would have been really important to her. So I'm going to go ahead and use this. This comes in eight shades. I got cool brown. Very happy about that. Cool. So I'll just do a little swatch on the back of my hand. Ooh, you can get a very fine one, a fine line. Or if you use the fatter side, you get something a bit more chunky. So it depends on your brow style, but the color looks really good. I'm just going to use the finer edge to get some little hair like strokes. I can't tell you how excited I am for this new brand. I know a lot of people are like sick of celebrity brands and stuff, but I'm always, if someone's going to bring something new to the table, why not? You know, it has been the same huge brands out there that we've had access to. You know, the brands, that I'm talking about brands that you can get in department stores and stuff. And I feel like we have really exciting products these days to choose from. And I'm getting less and less excited by some of the brands that have been out for a while and more excited about some of these newer brands and smaller brands. So I just, I love it. Okay, so that's on. I love the color. I don't want to put too much on. I do wish that I had though, like just a plain spoolie that I could go through and blend it in, but I'm just gonna go ahead and use the brow gel. So this is the complimentary brow gel that creates naturally defined brows. And as I said, I love the spoolie because it's short bristles. I feel like I put too much on. I haven't used a brow pencil in a while because usually I just use brow gel these days. So I feel like I colored them in too much, but. One thing I will say is I feel like for my liking, the pencil's a little bit soft. So it's actually going on really pigmented, which means I have to be super light handed. Otherwise it's going to be a bit too intense for my liking. That might sound weird. Like, oh, it's too pigmented. Um, most people will probably disagree with me, but just my personal preference when it comes to brow pencils is that I like it to be really firm, waxy and like not super pigmented so I can build it up how I want. That being said, I think my eyebrows look bomb. So, and because it's um like two in one, I think it's great for travel and stuff like that. I might just put a bit more on this left one. And I do feel like the gel is really good for brushing the hairs up. 
because I feel like that is the style right now like soap brow look where it's that like really brushed up I'm glad that I was able to get that effect because that's how I like to do my brows so I think I'm going to use the liquid touch brightening concealer because she doesn't have any eyeshadows yet in her line so I think I'll put some concealer on my eyelids just to even it out a little bit and then I'll do liquid liner the first one I got is 23ON and so that is the matching concealer for the foundation that I used 24OW that one's warm 25OW so yes, the Liquid Touch Brightening Concealer is a moisturizing, buildable concealer that melts seamlessly into the skin for undetectable, cake-free coverage available in 48 shades. So the same number of shades that is available in the foundation. And this is $19. The foundation is $29. So I feel like that's a pretty good price, $19 for a concealer. It's also like quite a lot of concealer. It's 7.5 mils and this just looks huge to me another one that I love which is by Kosas uh, this one is six mils um, so you know you get more in this one so that's good I'm gonna go ahead and put that on my eyes and the doe foot is massive it's huge actually has like a point to it so I can still be precise or I can try to fill like larger areas so I'm gonna use the point to get into that little area that I hate and then under my eye. I don't like to use too much concealer. And I did want to dab some on my eyelid too for some coverage. I'll also put some here around my mouth. I'm gonna use a little concealer brush. You could also use the sponge, of course. So I think again, on one side I'll use the sponge and on the other I'll use the brush. It's really good actually at how pinchable this is because I can really make it super small and obviously with the diamond shape, it's uh, already easy to get into small spaces. Okay, when it comes to the concealer, I put a very small amount on, but it's definitely brightening. Easy to blend. Okay, so the brush is like a mini version of the face one. The Liquid Touch Concealer Brush is $16. It's a cruelty-free concealer brush with uniquely sculpted bristles and a pointed tip for precise coverage. Cool, and I mean, it's great to get right in there, so let's do that. Oh, I feel like I'm getting fuller coverage with this because the texture of the concealer is um, different to the texture of the foundation. If you remember, the foundation was quite liquidy. It's like a serum. Um, and this is more of a traditional cream concealer and that coverage is amazing like I just watched the darkness disappear this brush is really nice I feel like I've tried softer brushes but it's doing the job and I feel like it's good for the price point love the shape really excited for the eyeliner because I opened it already and it is the type of eyeliner that I really love. I have a feeling I'm going to get a really good eyeliner look. So this is the Rare Beauty Perfect Strokes Matte Liquid Eyeliner. This is it. This is the design up the top. Love that little gold detail up there. And then, you know, it's got that tapered thing at the bottom. So I guess it kind of tells you that it's an eyeliner almost. Now, the thing that I noticed was when I took it out of the cap, every time I've opened it three times now, it hits the side. So I'm just hoping that that doesn't damage the actual bristles. Can you see how it bends like that? It's not a felt tip. So if you press lightly, you'll get a really fine line. If you press firmly, you'll get like a thick line. It's kind of like um, one of those traditional calligraphy. Have you seen like Japanese calligraphy, how when they press hard, it goes really thick. And when they press light, it goes really thin. It kind of um, has that type of brush tip. This is $19. So just looking at prices from other brands, Clinique's liner is $23. KVD Vegan Beauty is $21. Sephora collection is $14, Benefits $22, so it's a couple of dollars less expensive than some of those brands, um, but it is more expensive than Sephora collection, which is $12. The Fenty Beauty one is $22, so it's definitely at a slightly lower price point than Fenty Beauty, which is the most recent celebrity brand that is um, in Sephora, I believe. Actually, is it? So yeah, I'm really excited about it. 
because I love those brush tip pens. The concealer creased in my eyelids, but I mean, can't hold that against it because it's not meant to go on your eyelids, I don't think, but I just wanted more coverage there. Okay, am I meant to shake it? It's really easy to get very close to the lash line. I mean, I know I'm like good at eyeliner after all these years, but that just felt too easy. <laughs> the pen is a little bit thicker than what I'm used to holding. So there's that, but I don't think it's like annoying to get used to or anything. Okay, now the issue is trying to get it the same on the other side as we all know. I feel like it's drying out a little bit by the time I get to this eye. See, like if I press it against my skin, it's not coming off evenly. I have to shake it because it does have a shaking mechanism inside and I'm holding it like at this angle a lot of the time, but it's still working. Oh yeah, that's better. Just needed to shake it. Okay, that eyeliner was really easy to do, very easy to get like an even flick with a very tapered sharp end and I love the finish of it as well, like it doesn't build up over itself, do you know what I mean Jelly Bean? So it's not like too thick on the eye even if you go over it a couple times. So it's really good over eyes that have like more of a crease because it's so thin and sits so flat against the eye, it doesn't build up, it doesn't like get all crusty in the creases of my eyes, so that's really good. So far, really like this. Now, she does not have a mascara released yet, but in this picture, it does look like, she's actually not wearing liquid eyeliner there, it doesn't look like, but that's okay. I have wanted to try it out in the look, but she definitely has false eyelashes on, I believe. So I'm just gonna put some mascara on and some lashes so that I get something similar and I'll be right back. Okay, so I just put some lashes on. Love them, just like little corner ones. These ones are by Swede. Before I move on to cheeks, which I really wanna do next, I do want to put on one of the lip balms. These are the With Gratitude Dewy Lip Balms. They're $16, a hydrating, fuss-free balm that adds a hint of just kissed color and soft shine. It has eight shades. This one looks clear, it's called Honor. It's like a semi-circle sort of, or an archway shape. Otherwise, it's just the same kind of lipstick tube. It's got that round tip that's kind of at an angle. Now, the clear one, I mean, $16. I probably wouldn't be buying a clear lip balm for $16. Says me, who has a Buy Terry lip balm. This is like 60 bucks. The tinted ones, like I said, there's eight shades. I got sent four of them. So these are the shades I got. This one is called Praise, the middle one is Thankful, and then the end one is Blessed. The one I just put on is called Honor and it's clear. Feels really nice on the lips. I assume it's got some kind of like shea butter or something in it, it feels very buttery. I do just wanna prep my lips for the lipstick, the matte lipstick, which I really wanna use. But let's also just try one of these underneath because it is a lip balm. So this one is Praise. I love that. That is really nice. Super creamy. I love the level of pigment. I feel like the ones with pigment are definitely worth it. You get like the pop of color and then the benefits of a lip balm, lip treatment. It feels really nice. Super smooth. I think the texture of my lips looks really nice. I love that. And I actually really like that exact color, Praise. I'm gonna leave that here because I might pop that in my handbag. It's the perfect kind of lip product that I would put in my handbag to wear because I do love things that treat at the same time. Just showing you the texture on the end of the lip balm might show you what it is like, but it's very soft and creamy. Really nice texture. I actually love that. I have to say that the whole vibe of this line is very much me and the kind of products that I love. So I've got that balm on. I'm gonna let it do its thing. Ah! I'm gonna let it. I'm gonna let it do its thing. I'm gonna put the cheek product on now. I love these, the concept of these. I haven't put them on yet, so I don't know if I like them yet, but it is the Soft, pe uh, soft Pinch. Soft Pinch Liquid Blush. I already love them, this look. 
you know, with just the balm and then like simple eyes. And then when we put blush on, ta-da. So this is $20. Long lasting blush blends and builds evenly for a soft, healthy flush. Available in eight shades. I got sent four shades. This one is called Happy. It's like a dolly pink. They're a really smooth liquid. Another doe foot applicator. These ones are made in Korea. Grace is like a muted rose color from what I can see. Although I will say that the tubes are frosted, so that could be distorted. Wow, they're really smooth. These also look really pigmented, usually for blush. I'm not super in love with really pigmented blushes. Actually, that's mostly for powder form. I feel like with liquid, you can blend it a lot easily. Joy is a nice coral shade. And then Bliss is an amazing nude. I can tell I want to wear this one right now. Nudie coral. Love it. That's them. It is the same kind of packaging as the concealer is, but the concealer has like a soft demi-matte kind of... Um, thingy with this thingy on top like honestly this looks like a smarty i want to eat it and this one is metallic so i don't know why they did that but some of the other products they also have metallic accents so the eyebrow pencil and the eyeliner have got metallic accents but this is gold well this is also gold it's just like a different kind of gold interesting design elements i love that so i'm going to go ahead with bliss i guess i'll do a little bit at first Oh, this matches the lipstick that I used really well. Oh, it's kind of a mousse. It's kind of like a mousse texture when you blend it out. That, that is quite pigmented. I feel like that's almost a cream to powder texture. Because sometimes the blush will stay really dewy, but this has actually got a really nice velvety finish. I love that. Other side. This is a very nice soft peach. I love this color. I don't think I've ever used a blush that is that consistent. So usually cream blushes, you know, have a, a shiny finish. And that is what I love about them. So this one's definitely like a matte finish cream. That's, yeah, soft, healthy flush. Hmm. I didn't expect that. Can't say I'm mad. I do like that. I hope they come out with a bronzer in this consistency. Or maybe they already have because I didn't get sent all the shades, so maybe she does. So the blush, no. Oh, some of them, oh, they do have, some are dewy and some are matte. Oh, I feel silly. Sorry guys, I should have recognized that. The thing is, is that you wouldn't know looking at the packet, so you've got to remember yourself if it's a dewy one or a matte one. They look exactly the same from the outside. It might have been cool if like the dewy ones had regular glass rather than frosted glass. I might put a bit of happy on top just to see the texture. First, let's put it on my hand. So this one's dewy. That one definitely has some shine to it. As you can see, it still blends out really nicely. It's actually so pigmented. I might just put a little dab I'm going to get the best of both worlds because I do like to look a little bit dewy, don't we? This blush is pigmented. I will say, like, that's great, but you're going to have to be careful because I do think it's a bit easy to look clown-like, so you just have to be really careful. I personally prefer buildable blushes, but you can't really complain about pigment, can you? I'm going to take my sponge and go over the top. I really like the um, both the textures. I like that you have a choice of textures. Second last is the, oh no, third last is the Positive Light Liquid Luminizer. This is $22 and it looks like you get quite a lot. This is 15 mil, which is pretty standard because this little one from NARS is also 15 mils. Interesting because it looks a lot smaller, but I guess the square packaging makes a lot of difference. So I got four shades, but there are eight shades. It's a Silky Second Skin Liquid Highlighter that creates a lasting, soft, luminous finish available in eight shades. Love that. I want a luminous finish, especially if I've just put on like a matte blush. So I'm loving that. And there are some really nice shades. I think I'm gonna go for this rose gold one that is called Mesmerize. Cool, so I'm blending that out. Oh, actually that has like a, an odd texture. Kind of feels, kind of feels a bit oily or something. It's got a weird like, well, it's kind of like disappearing, kind of like a dry oil. That just like disappeared 
into my skin. I'm gonna swatch maybe the gold one because that's probably quite similar. This one's called Outshine. So it's quite liquidy. Very like smeary, like it's very easy to, it's kind of slippery. But I like it because it kind of disappears. It says that it's second skin and it's very thin, like it is that thin. A little bit on my moustache. I love their little doe foot. It's really chunky, so you could use like the flat side to get a fat application, or you could use the tip to get like a, a fine application like I did up here on my eyebrow. And it's actually kind of concave, so it sits nicely like against my skin there. It's the little things, you know, but I, I really like that. Okay, I'm gonna pat it in, because that's normally how I would do liquid illuminator. I think I went a little bit too high there. It's a bit got milky. I really like liquid illuminators. And this one is really good. I do feel like she's kind of hitting us with textures and, you know, components that we don't have. So I really like that. And I like the message of her brand too. I'm going to put Enlighten on the inner corner of my eye for a little pop. Oh, I just put so much in there. Gonna have to do some damage control. Ooh, I like that. It does give like a little wet look. It's very subtle. How's that looking? Can you see that, Seba? With the highlight? Yeah. It kind of dries down. It's interesting. It's uh, it's subtle. I feel like if uh, I was to shine a light on it, you'd be able to see it more. Yeah. The way it dries down is quite, it doesn't stay on their dewy, which makes me feel like it's gonna be more long wearing. Before I move on to lips, I'm gonna set the rest of this with their Always an Optimist 4-in-1 Mist. It looks like there's some kind of oily substance in there and it kind of floats to the top, which is why you gotta shake it to mix it all up. And so this one is a primer, a setter, a refresher. So you can kind of use it before your makeup to set your makeup or like throughout the day to just refresh. Bottles, just nice and simple. Now let's be judgy about the mist. So my hand is wet AF, but let me try it on my face. Okay, I do feel like the mist is a little bit aggressive. The droplets aren't so bad though, they are quite small, the ones that did land on my face. But I'll just pat them in, it's no big deal. Now for lips, I want to use the red, this seems like the one that she's wearing. It's the Lip Souffle Matte Lip Cream. This is $20, a whipped lip cream that delivers comfortable one stroke color with a vivid velvety finish. There's 12 shades. These are the ones I got. So I really like the packaging of these. It's like a velvety tube and it's just really simple. Everything's just the brand name. The rest of the tube is bare. I love that minimalist vibe. And then on the bottom is the name. Oh, and then the little logo on the lid. So the doe foot applicator is this shape. I don't know how you would, like a wedge. So that's good. I like that. It's going to be able to hug my lips and then I'll also be able to get more precise into areas like the Cupid's bow and the edge. I want to make like Selena and use this one. I swear this is probably the one she's using, right? Does it have a scent? It smells pleasant. Might be like a very light cake scent. So I've got the lip balm on and this is a matte lip. So might just pat off some. The residual, the leftovers of that dewy lip balm feels really nice and softening. So it's good to use as a primer. Let's go in with this. That feels amazing, sweetie. <laughs> I love that. The name Lip Souffle is definitely true to the texture of it. It's super light, very comfortable, flexible feeling on the lips, like definitely no crusty feeling at all. It's whipped, yep. I would love to know the wearability of these. So I might do a swatch video on my IGTV actually of using all of them. So watch out for that on my IGTV and then I will wear one um, for like 12 hours and let you know how it goes. We're not just finished yet. There is the Blood and Glow Touch Up Kit. 
Here you have, it's a refillable compact, so both of these things come out. Oil absorbing papers, so blotting papers, and then a radiant powder infused puff for easy touch ups on the go. Don't love the idea of this because that's not super sanitary and I imagine if it's powder infused you can't wash it, but if you're on the go maybe you don't care. Let me just press it on the back of my hand. Like, Am I expecting to see powder coming out? I don't understand what powder infused means. I kind of want to cut it and see. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, I'm seeing powder come out. Oh, I can see it on there now. You just got to slap it around a bit. Can you see that? Anyway, let's try doing that. So this is for touch ups, but I'll apply it now. And this is a luminous powder. I feel like I'm hitting myself quite hard. I actually changed my mind and I like the concept. I do think this is pretty cool. Like if you're an oily person and you know, you need to blot and powder and stuff. I do think that's quite cool and that you can repurchase these, but you probably can't sanitize this very well. Maybe you could spray it with alcohol and let it dry, but anyway. And so there are these little blotting papers. Probably should have blotted before I powdered, but oh, they're quite big. So you get a hundred sheets and the mirror is nice and huge. So I can see my whole facha almost. Now I don't, I mean, I did just powder, but you know, Oh good, well the powder works. <laughs> the powder works because nothing is coming off. Oh yeah, a little bit there. A little bit there and a little bit of makeup transfer on those. But I think that's great and you actually get a nice size. So you can, you know, do your whole face and then they're, they're super easy to dispose of. And you know, they look like hopefully they are degradable easily. I'll have to look into that. That is the finished look. What do you think? I'm so happy. Look how beautiful she looks. I was super excited about the line. I have to say, so far I really like everything. There are some personal preference things about certain products like, you know, the eyebrow pencil. I would prefer if it was like harder, but a lot of people want a lot of pigment. So that's just like a personal preference thing. Otherwise I really like everything. I feel like she did bring a lot of newness. Um, especially when it comes to textures. This matte liquid lipstick might be a game changer for me because it's very hard to find matte liquid lipstick that I like because I do not like the crusty dry down ones. This is really soft. It actually feels so thin and almost undetectable on the lips except for that light, moussey, moisturizing feeling. So that's good. Really excited for more products. I'm hoping for some eyeshadows and stuff next. I really want a bronzer and contour in this formula. I would love to see that next. Please, Selena, if you're watching this, I think that would be so cool because these blushes are really awesome and it would be so cool if you did like a matte one and a dewy one. So yeah, <laughs> if you see this, just know. I love the branding. It's so cute. It's like youthful, but also minimalist. You know, I feel like it's very modern. Like I've been seeing furniture with like this kind of vibe all over Instagram. And I reckon for sure, you're gonna see me using these a lot more in my upcoming videos. And I feel like if you guys know me, you would know that this is definitely my vibe of makeup. And that's it. Thanks guys for tuning in. You can get these products on Sephora. So that's it. That's my first impressions of the line. Love it so far, but I'm definitely going to keep using it and I'll see you next time. Bye.